Hi, I've got more of an example this time than actual tutorial and hopefully I might figure out why certain things are going wrong as well. But I've got trigger here and I've got trigger on the actual player. Now the AI character is going to run to the first trigger here. Um, this is debug obviously, it's not meant to be rendering in game, I've forced it to do this. This trigger here the AI will run to once he sees me or I fire on him. So you see a gun there, there's the AI. If I walk in front of him now. I die. I'll just wait for a few seconds so he goes off somewhere. Now if I reach obviously this is still attached. If I sneak up on him and get me, I hide around a corner, he's going to wonder where I am. After a bit he's going to get bored and go back to his safe zone. Again. I'll hide. He's gone back to his safe zone again. Oh, he's coming back. got bored because I've hidden sufficiently. He's come back to his safe zone. So basically there you go. The AI comes out, or if you fire on him he'll come out, start chasing you down. If you go into cover and cover sufficiently, he'll take a few pot shots at you, get bored, stop wasting his ammo and then run off and wait for you to come to him. That's the basic setup there, so... Let's go on another one. He does exactly the same thing. I think I've got this set to four at the moment. He's waiting again, he'll bugger off in a second. Now, what I've done to set him up in uh, Kismet, it's quite complicated. But hopefully some of you might be able to tell me why it's throwing up some of those errors. Um, I think, to be honest, that the UDK is a bit broken at the moment. I've read a few threads saying, oh, these these features are a bit temperamental. And what I've done is, on player spawn, I've attached this actor, which is the first trigger that's in front of you, that's offset by 250 on the X, and another trigger here, sorry, another actor here that has another trigger attached, even. And that's just at the centre of the player. If I go back in my AI controller, which is really complicated now, on level load, spawns an actor at either path node. If you st start going through this, he either reacts to seeing you. And if you're not in cover, trying to get to you, and then fire at you until you st until he stops briefly and then starts firing again. Or if you shoot him, he'll do the same. He'll come towards you, start shooting. If he gets bored in terms of like his view is obstructed, he can't find you. He'll try to move to you. He'll try to actually move to the first trigger. Sorry and look at the trigger that's on the player and he'll blind fire a few seconds and then stop firing and then wait around after he's waited a certain amount of time he'll go back to either of the default path nodes that he spawns on now here I've just set this up so if he gets shot Sorry about actually taking that out. I was going to make it so if he gets shot too much he'll go back, but no, I've removed that. So basically, once he can't find you, he'll go back to two of his spawn points, he'll wait around for you to 
come out again and he's, as soon as he sees you obviously it will kick off and start fighting now I think the issue I'm getting is in this area here seems to be even though I've set these players up the way that works he keeps throwing up errors saying mm. so I'm not really sure what's that that the issue is there if anybody's got any advice why he's throwing up these errors then I like to hear them because it is rather annoying and I've tried various ways I've tried setting this with all to play a zero is of all players and he just does nothing I've tried various methods to stop it from firing off these errors but I can't work it out but he actually does do what he's meant to do 